Ah, new face. Come on in. All the essentials, tobacco, cigarettes, and the like are all along the tall shelf. Food is scattered through the shop, as you can see, by the shelves and by the window. Everything else can be found in my catalog on the counter. Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Yeah, I did the 100% complete, paying respects, but with Red Dead Redemption 2, you never really are 100% complete. Not unless you find all the animals, all the trinkets, all the gear, finish all the bounties, um, finish all the treasure maps, and that's what this is. This is the Elemental Trail treasure hunt, treasure maps. So let's get on with one of the final treasures that you can do and find after 100% complete. If you go to the farthest west that you can go and you ride around in the maze of trails, you'll come upon a body hanging from a I don't know you want to say a piece of wood a beam and you got to shoot that body down and investigate This is the first map, and it's not really a map so much as a drawing or picture of a chimney by the seashore, and it's hard to locate. I mean, it, it this is kind of like the um, uh, riches, the elemental riches, whatever it is that I did before, and yeah, I'm going to show you the next location and find the next treasure map. Okay, you come down by the river, and there's this burnt out kind of dilapidated house where the next treasure map, or should I say picture, is located. Now, this location has a specific name, Green Hollow, and it's by the San Luis River above the island, and it's next to Lake Don Julio. And the next location I'm going to head toward is by Benedict Point. When you arrive at the next location, Benedict Point, you're going to have to do a little bit of uh, running because you can't climb anything and climbing up certain steep cliffs are a little difficult so you got to run around a little bit and got to run over to this area and you got to run up a hill and run to where you can access the um, chute or slough or whatever that is in order to find the next treasure picture.
Now, this next one's a little confusing. It's by the church, but the cross is below the church or something. Anyway, again, it confused me. Now you just got to get off of this, um, whatever it is. Flu, sluice, whatever. The location of this is now, I'll show you right here, Benedict Point. Again, you just got to do a little climbing and you'll find this. Now we'll move on to the final location. The final treasure and the end of this is at Coots Chapel outside of Armadillo. You'll find a guy burning bodies there. And I thought for some reason you had to try and climb the church. But then I realized, wait a minute, there's no way to climb the damn church. So it turns out that the actual treasure is located under a rock in a grave by the church. And that's what the arrows indicate. You go to the left of the church and then you look down and there should be a cross where the treasure is. Again, I thought I had to climb the chapel, but then I was looking around and I realized, oh, wait, no, it's not this tree that I'm having John walk to, but it is the tree next to the chapel right here. This cross right here is where the final uh, treasure is. And if you look under the rock, you will get a trinket the one trinket that you might need crow beak trinket and then a gold bar and that's it the crow beak tri trinket i don't know if it's worth using but that's it mission is complete and i'm going to save my progress and i am done not 100 percent done but I am done with this treasure map. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Even if you just like it, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. All these things are good things to let YouTube know people are watching my videos. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, some shorts and some specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.